get to hear from like CEOs and CFOs and industry leaders of like Fortune 500 companies. We heard from people from Disney, from Paramount Plus, lots of people from YouTube, obviously, a lot of YouTube creators. You get to learn about how to be a creator and like you get to hear advice from creators themselves in these different panels. It's really a benefit for me personally, especially as someone who's trying to grow in the YouTube space, to be able to hear from the people who are leading in the industry. And that's why I'm happy that I got to do this with Byron here at 2023 VidCon. There's not a lot of information online, as Byron was doing research and I was doing research, about what it's like to choose the industry track option. There's not a lot of videos at all about it. They all mention it in passing, like, oh, you can, the industry track is for business. So you don't need to worry about that. And then they move on with the video. Nobody talks about what it actually is. Yeah, so this video is designed to be helpful for those of you who are thinking about attending Vindicon, maybe are a creator or a full-time creator, but you're not necessarily like a speaker. You're not coming to the event as like a paid speaker or a volunteer speaker or whatever, um, but you just want to come and, and learn. That's us, that's our situation. And so um, there's, there's some differences in price points. And so we're gonna talk about like a lot of the videos we saw online were from these children who were like 16 yeah. years old. Professionals though, professionals at VidCon. They might have been <laughs> younger, but they know more than us. And all of them talk about the community track. And so what we want to talk about is the all three tiers, and then specifically what does the industry track give you when you're paying three, four times yeah. more than all of the other tracks. It's so crazy how much more it is. So the first floor of VidCon is for the community track, which is the baseline level for people who are kind of just fans of all of the creators here. So you can come and as you can see, I mean, there's just a lot of like merchandise, fun things for kids. So I have really not a lot of reason to be down here. I'm probably only gonna be down here for like 10, 15 minutes, just get some B-roll footage of what's going on. But yeah, I don't really, I don't really know any of these creators to be honest. A lot of what I watch on YouTube is more of like, centered around like business development, content marketing strategy, like all this stuff, it just, it doesn't really speak to me. I don't have anything really to do down here. So uh, I'm gonna see if I can get a couple of these crazy children to tell me their favorite thing about VidCon so far. My favorite thing about VidCon so far is just meeting all the people here and all the activities. So. Who's your favorite creator? Brody Animates. Got it, cool. Um, my favorite part about VidCon is uh, the Squishmallow like drop thing. to the second floor, which is the creator track. So this is probably technically actually the one that I would fit most into, more of like a small YouTube creator, um, but I have the industry pass for this event. So why did you choose the uh, creator track over the community track? Well, because it's, it's just there, it has more options, and sometimes you can meet creators in the creator lounge, and I really wanted to go to VidCon and meet creators. Yeah. Dude, that's like kind of what it's all about, and also, there's more panels and courses. I think the Creator Pass is, it's better than the community in the sense you get to learn about how to be a creator and like you get to hear advice from creators themselves in these different panels. The community panels, you can see your creator, you can maybe even meet them and ask some questions. But here in the Creator Pass, you can actually learn things from them. They'll tell you different things. They'll like share their advice and their knowledge that they've gained on being on YouTube or whatever platform they've been on for so long. I recently just went to one of the creator uh, panels and they kind of had a whole thing explaining like, oh, how you get started, how you get your momentum and where it where they are now. So even though Craig and I access the industry track, we still get access to everything else. All of the creator panels, all of the community panels, everything here at VidCon. This is like, you get a little bit more from it, but you get to experience everything else too. So if you only have the community pass, you can only do the community things. And if you only have the creator pass, you can do the creator things and the community things. But if you have the industry pass, you can do all three. So with the 
industry track. It's the top tier. It's the highest price point that you pay for here at VidCon. And it's actually a substantial increase in price. I think it was like $900 or something for the industry track. So it's a, I think the community is closer to like $200. The creator is like 250 or 300. So it's a huge jump in price to do the industry track. But what you'll see throughout this video is that there's a lot of benefit to that. You get to hear from like CEOs and CFOs and industry leaders of like Fortune 500 companies. We heard from people from Disney, from Paramount Plus, lots of people from YouTube, obviously a lot of YouTube creators. So it's really a benefit for me personally, especially as someone who's trying to grow in the YouTube space, to be able to hear from the people who are leading in the industry and not just be kind of like one of the lower passes. You do get to interact with them a little bit, but it's not to the level of like being to pick their brain from like a, a strategic marketing and business standpoint. That's what the industry track is gonna give you. And that's why I'm happy that I got to do this with Byron here at 2023 VidCon.